So if you're a healthcare assistant, if you're a carer, if you're a nurse, in this video, I'm going to share with you guys five recruitment agencies that are recruiting at the moment. And I'm also going to share with you guys how to go about it. If this video looks like what you're going to like, don't forget to watch from the beginning to the end. It's going to be a quick one, guys. You'll be living your good life. Catch a glimpse from the outside then. hello beautiful people welcome back again to my youtube channel if today is your first time here my name is stella if you've not subscribed to my channel please don't forget to like subscribe and share my video and if you're a channel subscriber thank you for coming back thank you for supporting your girl i really do appreciate so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys five recruitment agencies so my last video i was talking about my experience working with the nhs and i was talking about uh, my experience working with the support living care home i've done that video my experience uh, first day at work with care home and I also talk about my experience working with the NHS and the benefit there are lots of benefit working with the NHS especially those of you that are already in the UK oh, <laughs> NHS is the real boy 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 they are recruiting like every single day so I'm going to leave the link down below for you guys to go through it and now I'm also going to show you guys what it looks like on, on the link how to register because that's how I registered and how, that's how I got the job my first job with them and I still got another job with them but even though for some reasons i left the nhs and i did a video on my experience and if i regret working with them go check out that video it's still on the description my experience and why i and the reason why i left my regrets how much they pay us at that time when i was working with them i made a video on that just watch and it tell you everything so this is what it looks like on the screen for you to apply for the nhs you need to register to be honest for you to apply for the nhs number one you have to be a patient person because uk they like to fill form you will fill form you uh, look i'm from nigeria me i hate school and i hate to you know you keep feeling you feel form and feel form until you get tired of feeling form yeah, like there's always something to they'll ask you questions that even you'll be like am i am i a doctor or like you ask yourself questions but you need to do it because if you don't do it honestly <laughs> i don't think there are lots of people who are willing to sit down two hours filling their form anyway you might see it like it's easy form to fill maybe probably because i'm a lazy person i find the form too much or too much like to fill yeah so this is the screen this is what it looks like so guys we have the website now you can see what it shows if you're apl applying from overseas you can see it there it's a register login and what new website but it doesn't matter even if you're in the uk you can still um apply you can still register here because this was the link i used in registry mine to be honest and yeah you can see register on this with this link and you can see health careers website right to work everything about um overseas recruitment too is here you just want you to take your time read on it and click on the link that's just it to be honest so like I said, if you plan to work with NHS, the best uh, way is for you guys to register on their web on their uh, website. So easy for you guys to find job and see job on their website. So this is it. Once you click on register, actually your name, email, blah blah blah. There's just so many things. Anyway, they just like too much talk. So once you register, it does first step done. When you click on the other side, it said login. After registration, if, you, if it's successful, you can then log in and with your email and password. And that's just it for that one and and the next one is search so when you see search it show you search for job you type in if there's any particular location you want you type in the reference the job reference the location the uh, minimum salary you want or maximum if you have if you want if you don't have maximum you can just put no maximum or you put minimum of how much you want postcode location if you have anywhere in mind you're looking for the job that's just it this place is another side it's showing like um jobs type that are available you can see there are lots of job in nhs like i told you guys nhs are always recruiting they are one of the top people that are always recruiting it's just for you to take your time go to their uh, website search for job so yeah these are all uh jobs that um and they're available in the nhs website so after that one so you can also see 33,817 live jobs these are jobs that are available guys this 
so i've shown you guys how to fill the form so it's left for you now to put your details in there to be honest like i said they are always recruiting all you need to do is put, to put what you want if you're a nurse if you're a carer just put it down you're going to just make sure you make just make sure you put everything like uh, in a very professional way you know there's always job trust me they are short of staff so number two we have lk recruitment lk recruitment are also recruiting and you can see on the screen you can see what they said you must have this requirement so guys this is LK LKA recruitment and it says visa sponsorship provided it says you have to pass your English test IELT and it's at least 7 point or 6 points five you can see it please it say you must meet the requirements so if you don't have the requirement no need of you to apply do not apply if you do not have the above requirement it's already stated there so you guys have seen what i show you guys in the lk recruitment you must have that requirement mind you if you don't have if one thing is missing they'll always choose those people that have the full requirements before choosing you so you must have the requirement they listed before be there i mean the requirement they listed there before you get the, the job number three we have peer recruitment peer recruitment also recruitment agency i'm going to leave the link down below for you guys to go through it is for easy access anyways yeah and number four we have and number four we have actual care limited to be honest there's something i want you guys to understand some of you i might have been applying and not getting this job mind you you're not the only one applying for this job there are lots of people applying this for this job and there are lots of people meeting the requirements so if your one requirement is missing <laughs> I don't think you get the job i don't know if you understand what i'm saying there are lots of people requiring but don't give up all you need to do is don't depend on one agency or one care home just keep sending your cv keep filling form you know just keep doing what you're doing don't don't depend on one but there are thousands of jobs going on on healthcare jobs in the uk there are thousands of jobs going on you can see it everywhere online and there are lots of people still coming to the uk you all know at this moment it's just the easiest way to come to the uk in this 2022 to be honest it's so easy to come in a healthcare assistant there are lots of people getting this job the only thing is that is your time you need to start you know some people complain about the english test the, the english test that oh uh i don't want to spend money on writing this english test. i know the truth is that you just need to do the english test you need to pass it i know they said there's some agencies that don't care about the english test but most times like me the agency i know that i've called if you want they always want that english test to be honest yes but like i said there's no point in giving up just try and get the requirement now, and the last one we have abc care home abc care home are also recruiting so like you all know that UK has shut up healthcare workers now at the moment and that's what is trending everywhere online so just try and make your credential make your CV stand stand out if it does not stand out they pick you know people who, pre who present more professional CV and mind you there's still people here in the UK that don't even have tier 2 visa so sometimes sometimes they consider those people already in the uk they'll be like oh so why are we spending money you know bringing people outside the uk why not take the people already in the uk so that's why i said this is another opportunity for people already in the uk like it's so easy for you to switch to tier 2 visa to be honest if you're already in the country so that's why it's easy for people in the uk to get tier 2 visa because first of all choose the ones that they are already seeing instead of paying for international because obviously they spend money you know recruiting outside the uk so that's the problem that's why sometimes or that's why some of you are not getting the job and sometimes maybe when i post this video maybe i already saw this recruitment recruiting maybe oh, maybe three or four days ago or a week ago M mind you maybe some of them have already seen this site last week or like the week i'm making this video or whenever i'm making me this week maybe they start already start applying and then i post the video and maybe when you apply they'll be like sorry we've already you know choose the people we already want or i don't know how to put it but whatever way maybe they've already got them the certain people they want maybe they want 10 or 15 or 20 or they want 50 maybe they're already taking the ones they want so it's stuff like that sometimes it's happened but mind you they're always recruiting just keep checking um google and check just keep trying your best keep checking online you always see a job there's always a job for you and if you find this video very informative or useful please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like subscribe and share just encourage your girl i'll see you guys in my video and thank you for the support bye guys